Welcome to the Principles of Financial Accounting. My name is Mr. Harris. I'm going to be the instructor for this course. Thank you for taking the time to click on the link to watch this video. Firstly, let's take a look here at the syllabus. You can find information about the course, um, how many contact hours it is, a little information here about um, contact information for me, email address, phone number, office hours, office location, etc. And in order to get started here, you're going to need a couple things. At the bookstore right now, there's a bundle of a loose leaf copy of the book. We're able to get you a way better deal by having this the text, the physical copy actually be loose leaf. So there's two things you'll get. You'll get the textbook and you'll also get the Cengage access code. Cengage, it's a way for you to complete your homework online. You'll know right away if you miss something, it'll help give you pointers as to where you went wrong, things like that. So you're going to definitely have to have the Cengage code. You can buy a bundle of those two at the bookstore. Sometimes I know people buy things off the internet, different places. If you do so, just make sure that you're getting the right 12th edition of the book and that you have access to Cengage now. Okay, and I'm also going to provide you a code that you'll need to give when you log in and when you register for Cengage now. There's going to be a code there for you, and you'll make sure that you enter the right code in, and they'll get you into the right class. And um, when you pay for it, they'll give you the second code that's proof that you've paid them, okay? Also, you'll find here information about the course attendance policy. Please make sure that you're not overcutting. If you overcut, you will be dropped from the course per college policy. Check this out about late work and missing exam policy. You know, There's a deadline for the work. Just like in the real world, if you don't turn it in on time, you're going to get a zero for it, okay? If you have a special circumstance, sick in the hospital, uh, death in the family, something like that, of course that's okay, but you need to let me know before the deadline. There's something here about the grading plan for the course. Make sure you click on that so you know how much the quizzes and the Cengage assignments and the test and things like that are going to be weighted. And we have our schedule here as well. So please make sure that you click on all those and become familiar with everything. So for this very first week, well actually the very first two weeks, um, instead of just jumping right in and trying to cram all of chapter one into the first week, when you're becoming familiar with Cengage and you're becoming familiar with, with Moodle perhaps, and this might be your first time using Moodle, I decided to split chapter one into two weeks. Okay, so for this very first week, the very first due date, and by the way, the work's going to be due Sunday night, okay? And um, so for each week here, we're going to have a list of things that you'll need to knock out. Like I said, for this first week, we're just going to cover the first half of chapter one. And if we click here, it says topic one. We're in topic one here. It says topic one instructions. Let's take a look here. So there's a little picture here. It says we'll be uh, studying the accounting equation and completing an introduction to accounting. This will be the first part of chapter one uh, in your book, and that's going to be pages one to 15. So once you're finished reading those first 15 pages, you'll log in here to CengageBrain.com. This is where you complete your Cengage Now assignment. You'll complete your homework assignment there. Now let's take a look at what that might kind of look like. Like I said before, there's going to be some instructions made available to you as to how to get into Cengage. What, and it's also going to include the access code, one of the access codes that you'll need, the other one you get when you make the purchase. So we can see here there's a couple things. The first due date here, there's two things that you need to do. This is just a welcome to Cengage assignment. This tells you what you need to do, how you submit things, how you, you uh, navigate your way through it, okay? So make sure that you knock that out. That's going to be an easy grade there, okay? So knock that out, and then you're going to have a homework assignment on the first part of the first chapter. The next week, you're going to complete the second half of the first chapter. But for now, for this first week, we're just going to do these two things. And from there on out, we're going to have one assignment per topic or one assignment per week. And we'll go through and we'll knock those out one by one. So I mentioned here not only to complete the Cengage assignment, but to also complete the timed quiz for this week. So you can see here at the very bottom it says Quiz 1, Part 1 of the first chapter. So after you've completed your homework, 
you've checked out the PowerPoint slides, and I have a couple of videos I've made here to help you out. Okay, check all that, check all those videos out, watch them, go through the homework, and hopefully by the time you're finished with all that, you'll be feeling pretty confident and you'll be ready to take the quiz. So when it's time to take the quiz, come down here and, and click. And like I mentioned before, you have to take it Sunday night. In this case, there's 15 questions from Chapter 1. You have one attempt in 15 minutes, and you must complete the quiz in one sitting. Okay, It's okay for you to use your book, but just realize you're not going to have a lot of time. So if you're really not sure what's going on, you're going to probably get a bad grade. So be prepared for it, and just use your book here and there if you need to. But I just want you to know it's okay if, if you want to use your book. So that's pretty much what you're going to knock out for the first week. The second week, we're going to cover the second half of Chapter 1. Okay, so if you click here, you'll get the instructions. Like I said before, you're going to be taking a quiz on the second part of the first chapter. And in addition, you're going to be taking, um, making sure you, you complete the Cengage homework assignment for the second half of this chapter. The next week, the first week's a little different because we've, the first and the second weeks are a little different because we split the chapter into two parts. But from here on out, it's going to be pretty much um, the same thing. We have a Cengage assignment. You have all sorts of PowerPoint slides, um, think videos for you to, to check out, and you're going to have a quiz. The only thing that might be a little different, there's going to be several discussion boards. There's going to be three discussion boards throughout the semester. And so make sure you click on this. I'll, I'll mention it in the instructions, but make sure down here below you don't forget to complete the ethics discussions. Now, we're not going to have one every week, um, but like I said, there's going to be three throughout the uh, duration of the semester. Also, make sure you take a little time to come down here to the bottom and check out this topic 17. It says other resources for you to check out. This includes videos on dressing for success, uh, doing great in an interview, careers in accounting, what does it take to become a CPA, things like that. So do yourself a favor and check some of those out. Just want to take a second now to talk about the way the class is set up. And with my experience teaching this class a lot of times, I've found that Students who allow themselves to get behind in the first four, three, four uh, chapters of the book really, really struggle for the rest of the uh, of the course. Sometimes people will just get to a point and they realize they're too far behind and they drop the class. Other times people will try to stick it out and fail. Some people are able to bring themselves back to a decent grade, but not without a, a ton of, of extra work. So it's very important that these first few chapters you really make sure you're doing everything watching the videos staying focused and not slipping behind because every single thing in the book builds on those first several chapters and if you don't understand those everything else is going to seem like a foreign language to you okay so I don't want you to slack off at all but if you were to slack off pick a week towards the end of the semester because these first these first couple of weeks like I said are, are definitely crucial to to your success in this class and just to reiterate the importance of the videos, a lot of times when people are doing poorly in the class, they'll come and talk to me, and, and I can look and see who's watching the videos and who's not. And um, especially if you've missed a class, those videos are so important. I'd go through step-by-step step a lot of the exact same problems that I'll work through in class. And you might find it difficult to watch all of them, but you know, for each chapter, there's, there are multiple videos. So if you're really struggling with the concept, make sure you check those out. Like I mentioned before, here's my contact information. If you're having any trouble at all, please let me know. You can shoot me uh, an email. That's probably the best way to get a hold of me. Um, here's my phone, my office hours in room 302 of the Wayne West building. Like I said, please feel free to come by, especially those first couple weeks if, you're, if things just aren't making sense and you feel like you're starting to, to slip by.